Apple, once a rock, falling hard in today's sell-off as well. The company taking unprecedented measures and closing all of its stores outside of greater China as the coronavirus spreads. Let's now bring in Josh Lipton with more on Apple's nearly 13% haircut today. Josh. So, Brian, as this outbreak spreads, Apple, you see, taking action. Remember, this company spent a lot of time and money building out this network of retail stores all over the world. So the 510 stores and counting now, 271 here in the United States alone, 52 stores in greater China, which includes China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. Those will be the ones remaining open. Online stores also remaining open. Checked in with Gene Munster at Loop Ventures to get a sense of the financial impact here. He says that these stores account for 8% of total revenue in a given quarter. Now, by his math, if the stores really do remain closed only until March 27th, the decision impacts revenue in the current quarter by about 2%. Of course, a key question for investors, though, what happens if they remain closed beyond that date? And even more broadly, how does an economic slowdown now weigh on consumer spending, specifically iPhone demand in the quarters ahead? Since that stock's recent high on February 12th, Apple has lost $370 billion in market cap. Guys, back to you. Yeah, our team, our great team, everybody's working triple time, by the way. And Robert Hum, our market master, as we call him back at HQ, noted the MAGA stocks have lost over a trillion dollars in value. Four names lost a trillion bucks in just the last couple days. It's not just Apple, it's Microsoft as well, Josh. But is there this idea that, you know, if you want a phone or need a computer or need an iPad or want that, you're going to get it online or eventually many of those sales will be made up? Yeah, so it's interesting how I think the... um the kind of the argument has shifted here a bit. Um, and to answer your Brian, Brian, your question there, you know, it was interesting. Foxconn founder Terry Goh, he recently told reporters, it was just a few days ago, of course, Foxconn, largest manufacturer of Apple devices. He was saying that um, his factories in China were coming back online uh, faster than maybe he expected. But he said his concern now was actually demand. And he specifically did call out the U.S. You know, the folks at Credit Suisse would tell you by their math, that replacement cycle, the length of time people keep their iPhones extended in nine months in 2019 to about four years. They use that as evidence that um, an iPhone, they think as a discretionary item, one that perhaps people are willing to postpone buying if they're feeling more uncomfortable about the virus and where this economy is headed, Brian.